occupying with your own tier modules so naturally you don't have a space maybe in case you are looking for additional space for the rest crew or whatever it is you will end up in sacrificing that but not uh, uh, apart from that there is another point that you may have to remember that you are going to blank all your uh, all your uh, windows it has got a positive point that means your emims issues are to that extent getting reduced but the, on the other hand you will not be in a position to see and probably you know satisfy yourself in a long uh, run last uh, is uh, one of the point is that it's always been debated by us in very very many time you know this aircraft can never be with us for all the time because uh, once in 6 years or once in uh, pe periodically it will go for maintenance and the air marshal will be aware of that while we are sending the aircraft normal practices to remove most of the electronics from the secret point of secrecy point of view then in such a case uh, the compact uh, side looking side mounted antenna becomes slightly more complex to removal whereas the top one is becomes very child's play because we can routinely remove in a in a matter of about 4 to 5 hours and so we finally with all our debate we concluded with the help and the support of uh, air force because the decision has to be done jointly we have done that and the platform was fixed by air force and the joint decision on whether to go on top or the side also decided collectively between drdo and air force ultimately we selected the embraer 145 platform with all the system where we will have a radar ifr psm csm sps ifr c band data link satcom bhuhf etc now the main thing having decided on that the only crux or the challenge for drdo was how do we do that uh, dorsal unit or the top unit which we call it as an active array antenna the basic thing is that it has to be an electronics wise a challenge because we need to produce whatever the pattern required for the antenna and we have to have a redome which has to have a properties of a redome in terms of uh, you know uh, less loss and uh, not creating any squint or whatever it is simultaneously being an external element it has to have aerodynamic properties you cannot afford to have a, a huge drag element on top and expect the aircraft to give a good performance so this is another important challenge for us so we have to obviously because one will expect you to have a bigger larger and maybe a squarer antenna the other one will expect you to go for a sleek rounder smoother polished uh, surface from the aerodynamics point of view so this challenge are to be taken care of so one is that external flow from the drag point of view another important equally important point of view is the internal flow because the part of the air is which is going inside if it is not diverted inside properly without any much drag you will not be able to cool the system because all the electronics is freely getting cooled as and when the aircraft is flying that's the ram air uh, cooling has been done so there is a good amount of air flow need to be studied for both for external as well as internal last but not the least is in the mechanical side that we have got several uh, issues like uh, the uh, strength of the aircraft i mean strength of the uh, uh, aaa or the active array antenna unit has to be at par with the aircraft because you are talking about aircraft the aircraft is going to have a 30 years of life then you have to ensure that this is a structural member it's a large body so you cannot deviate from that saying that it's an electronics or a sophisticated item so applied loads and corresponding strength and static strength has to be taken care of while we take care of the weight because the more weight you put in to increase your uh, strength you will end up uh, creating more and more heavier item the other aspect is that which normally probably wouldn't have worried in, a, in an antenna is that that the rain erosion because the antenna surface is going to be constantly be uh, going through this rain erosion temperature changes static discharges most of all lightning strikes now uh, similar to that we have got a power supply inside what we did is when we have got a effective way of cooling we push the power supply also inside thereby we have to have our uh, system more efficient in terms of vmmc and uh, we one of the important thing that we did is the clad antenna because we have to reduce the space and the drag we did that and we have successfully completed that and we have to do good amount of analysis static analysis and we have done that and all have been true and last but not the least is several iterations of internal testing both as a low speed as well as high speed and successfully completed that you know you must understand that the uh, bird hit bird strike it is not only for the aircraft today now it has to be even e equally applicable for antenna also we have done the study we have done the system we have practically measured it and sorted it is everything successful another important uh, important product of uh, drdo is that the tr module which is a very critical element which was denied in the beginning so we have uh, done our own chip our own uh, system and it is totally patented also and this goes inside the aircraft as you can see that while you are doing that we have to do a lot of thermal analysis where the hot spots are there because the internal flow need to be studied we have to ensure that each and every tr module is uh, 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 you know cooled properly because you cannot afford to cool few of them 
properly and some of them uh, leastly, but thereby we can have a failures. The power supply is one of the very critical items which is uh, done in a, such a small size and the cooling also is taken care of. Ultimately, we need to do several tests to ensure that, that we are succeeding in all aspects. As I told you, the lightning is one other thing. We have conducted the lightning test on the system. You can see that and it succeeds. We have to look at the both direct as well as uh, indirect tests. And similar to that, the antenna panel as such has to go through several tests like low temperature, high temperature, shock, humidity. All of them has been completed and uh, we are now at this point of time, we have a full system. Yes, a truncated version we made, tested, satisfied. At this point of time, our to total test strategy is to ensure that we make a dummy more or less looking alike in terms of weight volume simulated and send it to Embraer to see that flight testing is done. After that, we will integrate with the final version. As of now, the AWNC uh, radar system, I mean system AWNC system will have ASA radar with a power motor on top of it. It's an S-band having a coverage about 240 degrees. We can stretch it up to 300 degrees, but with a limited coverage in terms of range. And it has got about 10 to 17 degrees of elevation, and it has got all the other systems functionally equivalent to any other AVAC system. We have got about five operators, and at least about seven crews can be able to rest and in-flight refueling also there. Considerable thought has gone in, and the system has been arrived based on the platform chosen by Air Force and it is an optimum, and it is supposed to be the cost effective in the world today. And we are looking forward to look with uh, more and more partners in the future. Thank you very much. Very important, very apt topic because we are getting our, you know, the aircraft, AVAX aircraft shortly. This is, this is one of the, uh, let's say, record uh, for the Indian Air Force. It's the first time that we are getting such an item. As the Chinese had already a man on the kite and all that. Uh, looking a little closer home, we also had a EW system. If you all know, you must be all knowing Mrs. Sita Ram. Sita Ram is Ram's wife. Lord Ram's wife is Sita. When she was being abducted by Ravana, a Lord Jatayu, you know, he, the lot of the uh, words, he spotted her being uh, abducted and he was able to get the uh, information to Lord Rama later. Of course, he was a defense, defensive weapon and tried to become an offensive weapon, got his wings clipped incidentally and then only he could give it to Rama. But as far as this topic is concerned, the AESA and the TR module is really a breakthrough for us because it gives the operator and the maintenance man both a breathing time. You can continue to use the radar and do the rectifications or the replacement of those modules at your convenience without having a breakdown of the total system. That is extremely important. There is already a definition in the outer core how many could be unserviceable, what is the limit permitted, what is the degradation permitted. So keeping this in mind, you can schedule your maintenance at those, those times. I think it has been a very good lecture. Please give a big hand to Dr. Christopher. Thank you.